Good morning. So, I thought that I would um, give you a bit of a, what would the word be? Something different this morning. Maybe do a bit of a day in the life filming. What happens behind the magic? Not much. Kind of the same stuff every day. But, yes. So, we're up. We're going to go and hit cardio. Fasted. Nothing in it. But, I thought it would be wa oh, I dropped the phone there. It would be wise to maybe film something maybe a bit different today, you know. I've been trying to kinda film as much as stuff across the week as I kinda have with the time that I have, which is not very many. Um last night I think I possibly had the worst sleep I've ever had in my life. Um, stupidly, I've done something that I know I shouldn't have done Because I know what I'm like when I get hungry as well um, So, I finished at the gym And I would usually just make my post-workout like right there and then And then I would literally sit in the car and scran it um, And I didn't bother I waited till I got home I never made it I jumped up, basically, you know, when you jump on your bed Still never made it, and I lay there for a long time until I, I had to go and make it. And by the time I had to go and make it, I felt like ill, terrible. Um, ended up rushing it, digested like a pile of crap, and that was me basically awake all night because I was starving. So I can assure you that that won't happen again. Um, that was not fun, so I kind of feel like I spent the whole night up just starving so and the room was warm last night as well so it wasn't a bit an ideal combination but we're up we're going to make the move we're going to um ultra flex for something a bit different today as well because i would usually just kind of use the bike um i've been using the bike this whole prep simply because it's only 30 minutes in the morning and i kind of feel like I can get away with just sitting on the bike for 30 minutes and getting it done. I post it. If there's going to be any more, well, there is going to be. It's going to be time to then stay master at the gym daily. So I'm going to shoot there and get that done. The thing is, I never brought meal one with me either. So I know that I've got like 15 minutes to get to the gym. Half an hour of stairs, 15 minutes back. So that's going to be what? An hour. So I'm going to have to kind of spin it out because, let's be honest, I am. I'm a hungry boy of the day, but it is what it is, isn't it? This is what this is what you take home when you know that you're coming in the press. So there's a um, good luck. But you know that just there's gonna be one day where you're gonna be fine and then the next day it's just gonna be like you're literally just gonna be fucking starving all day, so um so I, at least, a, well, when you think about it, when you calculate it up, it's going to be at least another hour, right? And for the day, the time you get back, and then you always piss about, it's like quick five, ten minute shower, and then you actually need to get everything like prepped and then fucking made. You know, city of Durham, city, right? I didn't realise how actually big it was before I came here. Um, do you know what I mean? It is, in theory, it is a city, apparently. From what I've been told, it's a city because it has a cathedral. Um, but, do you know what I mean? I thought it was quite, I thought it was going to be tiny, where you could kind of get from A to B in like five minutes, but it doesn't seem to be the, the case, to be honest with you. There is still some busy roads, um, roundabout traffic, it's kind of like right in the middle of the town, but. I kind of thought it was just a small, how would you put it, just a really, really small town, but it's just kind of a small version of, a well, minuscule version of Newcastle, isn't it, but... Right guys, so we're here, Gallifor, um, Durham's 
Eins at the California Vena. And as you can kind of expect, there's nobody doing cardio, just me. When it comes to cardio for the stairs, like literally, you don't need to be blasting it. I don't know why this has just stopped. But, I don't know, here we go. Um, you don't need to be blasting it to the point where you're physically running on it. If you're having to, if you're having to hold on when doing it, you're not doing it right. You're literally taking half the workload away. So what I'd recommend is actually doing a pace. I mean, I was only doing level 11 until this thing stopped, but level 11, right? That's kind of like a walking pace for me without holding on. And the heart rate is at like 178, 179. So I'm not even running on it and yet. I'm getting fucking a hell of a lot uh, one session on it. So I think now the bike's out the window gonna come and do this every day. Level 11, like what I said, just kind of walking pace, but not holding on. I'm not really gonna hide anything, but this is what it is, this is what it looks like, but definitely gonna start that on the stairs because just having a look there now, right? So in 30 minutes from the bike, um, going at it, genuinely, my active calories is usually something like, 300, just over 300, and that there, and half an hour on the stairs was 473. So, I think this is going to be the the new cardio choice. Put up to Tesco for a few bats. Right, so, bit of spanner in the works there. I gets up to Tesco, walks up to the door, went to the exit side by accident, and then I went to the entrance side, and there's about a 20 minute queue. And if you think I'm waiting that, when I'm hungry, you can stick it. Meal one, and then it's time to actually get some work done because time's marching on. I actually had a longer lie this morning. So I kind of felt that I'd be a bit of a lazy bastard, but I needed it. This is what it takes. You didn't just get a life for luxury by doing Nothing, not life a luxury, but do you know what I mean? Like everybody's got to pull their own weight in life, so it's not just as glam as it looks on the gram, where you maybe just train in or maybe just spending all your time in the gym, but it's not really the case. 90% of the time, you literally say sitting in front of a laptop doing something for somebody. So, meal one is about to go down, then go up, three turkey bacon. I can't even like it's it must have worked with coffee. Uh, one whole egg, three whites, and then 60 grams of oats. So fucking starving me. So I'm gonna get this meal. I'm gonna wash that big pile of dishes sitting over there. It's uh, swept under the carpet. Uh, and then Get something I'm actually done. Uh, so stuff today, fortunately. Right, so we've got a bit of that dilemma at the moment, right? So recently, well, always seem to use this coffee, right? And I don't know what it is, but this can, for whatever reason. It's just no hitting that spot. Do you know when you have obviously something kind of dialed in, like your morning routine or something like that, and then one day you just make a right ass of it, and then it's completely, you feel like your day's absolutely ruined. I just feel like this this stupid tin is just ruining my weeks. Actually get something productive done, which is ideal, but you know. Um, Managed to get that work done that I said I was going to get done. Now, it's time. It's time for the best meal of the day. I'm trying to get this without dropping it. 
I'm going to drop it. So, we have 100 grams, oh, yeah, right. 100 grams of cream of rice, the chocolate fudge, 35 grams of uh, whey ice, so triple chocolate with the chocolate chips. So, this, this is the ultimate, regardless of prep, um, even in an off season, the ultimate pre meal. Right guys, so a big um big leg session about to go down at um, Ultra Flex. Um I don't know, I'm quite low on food today, I'm actually training a lot earlier than what I usually would. So I don't know if the four plates is gonna be there on the Atlantis hack. Um, the last time I took it, I took it for 12, three, three and three quarter plates right for 12, so that was the maximum on the set. Um, or was it 10? I can't remember, it's log booked, but I took it, and I took it absolutely perfect, which I'm fucking buzzing about. That to me is the most important point that I could probably keep is make sure everyone's still kind of perfection perfection overweight any day and getting the maximum stimulus that I actually can get out of every movement so I think I'm not sure if the four plates is going to be there the day um, this is my hack squat rotation so there's going to be hack squats in there somewhere the day I'm not sure if I should use the only reason I actually used the, the Atlantis the last time was because the Cybex Cybex hack was out there uh, um, it was actually the order, so but there's no many places of a, a Mark 1 Cybex hack apart from uh, well, the only one I know of at the minute that's that I've been to anyway that actually has one is obviously Ultra Flex Durham, but the Cybex in comparison to really any um any hack squat is it's a ball buster. It's uh, it's not an easy machine. It's it's pretty vertical, so it doesn't really matter what weight you've got on it. Don't get me wrong. For a machine that's so 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 old, it runs like butter, but it's fucking heavy. Like it's seriously seriously heavy. Um, even I know the Mark Mark Three hack squat, uh, the Cybex, the newest, obviously the newer one like that, that's a ball buster as well, I mean, they just didn't design these machines to be easy, they designed them obviously for, they designed them to be actually perfect for purpose, but, um, by God, they do not make them easy, definitely not, but, um, I don't know, I just think, this unsettled business with the, I, I personally, I do like the Cybex one, but I think I've got, um, Unsettled business with the, the Atlantis, so um, I know that that last time that set, I could have taken that four plates, no problem. But um, again, it comes back to like what I was saying. I've been saying recently that like you need to remember you're not going to be able to pick them same battles when you're getting lighter and you're on less food, um, and you're just a bit more fatigued and tired, and your food's lower, and just especially the days we have not. I think I've only had. Um, me one and I just jumped right in at three. Uh, just because we've got a bit of a busier day to day, so uh, we are less food. So I think I think maybe jumping for the four plates it might be a bit unrealistic. Do you know what I mean? I think I might be able to move it, but it's maybe not going to be as perfect as what I wanted. So we just need to find out. We just need to find out. But I did notice this morning as well when I was in the hammer strength leg press is out of order. So that's. Monday. So it's going to need to be the Mark 1 Cybex leg press. Um, that again is another good one, it runs like fucking butter, but it runs like butter, but you know, it's a fucking hard machine.
I'm talking big money. And your income to them without incredibly simple sense. You could be making money in under three minutes of the month. thought that it was a, an 8 to 10 set in the hack, but it turns out it was a 10 to 12 last time it was, um, like I said earlier, it was 3 and 3 quarters for 10, um, so there's absolutely no chance I'm going to get 4 plates today, no chance, um, I just smashed that in Cybex leg press, but there's no way I'm going to get 4 plates on this today, so we're going to go back, back for 3 and 3 quarters, and actually, that's like a lead. Um, three and three quarters. And take a rip. Try and go for 11. So, let's get it on. That um, didn't go anywhere near as planned, but you know, I've got to kind of so basically. I tried the three and three quarters, and I generally took three reps, and I was like, there's not a fucking, not a chance in hell that I am doing this um, for 10 to 12. So I just thought it was wise to back off. Just backed off the, the three plates. Um, you know what I mean? I could have took the biscuit more, but hey, it is what it is. But still made the most out of that set um, for the 12. But like what they say, the uh, the Cybex, well, sorry, the Atlantis is easier than the Cybex. But honestly, I don't think there's um, I don't think there's a hack spot that you'll get that literally feels as good as this does. Um, even in the bottom and the top end of the range, like it feels good in the bottom. And um, a lot of them, a lot of high squats when you push up and you hit that top range, it kind of just drops off. So this one is just nothing of the sort. Um, you, get, you get it all the way to the bottom and all the way to the top. So despite having to take a knock back, bear in mind, that's been like six weeks since I've used this. Um, so I shouldn't have even been really expecting that but it was kind of just my ego was getting the better of me so I kind of thought I would have been able to do it but evidently not bearing in mind I'm probably at least 6 or 7 pounds maybe maybe even 8 pounds lighter than what it was the last time I used it so um, I put as much lower as well so I kind of need to always take that into consideration as well so you know that's what it is but I've only got one set on this so I thought I might as well try and rinse as much of it as possibly can. Um, if I did just that, got to 12, but um, you've obviously seen the clip, like just consistent moving, no walk out at the top, two second pause in the bottom, and just can, constant tension through the whole range. Um, it's fucking, it feels unreal to be honest. What you kind of take away from this as well is, would you rather have six buying average reps that just didn't even feel great or if you rather have a 12 unbelievable amazing rep the fun more stimulus um, I'll take the 12 
so that's a bit of a wrap um i actually raging i forgot to film seated hamstring so gonna need to bear with me on that but session done ultraflex durham it's time for a post workout um i've got 100 grams of cereal 45 grams of whey 100 grams of fruit somewhere um down in that bag there i think 100 grams of pineapple always a personal favorite that so um a bit of a long drive home now but you know that's what it is i've got my meals packed so best at the road pulled over at the side of the road to get something to something to eat aka water the fucking plants nah i wouldn't do that don't be silly but it is time to eat again so this is meal what four meal one pre post four i think so post workout was like an hour and a half ago um so 125 grams of mince 80 grams of pasta and 75 grams of low fat pasta sauce now there is actually a massive range of different ones that you can get now that believe it or not they've basically got like literally nothing in them um me personally i kind of use either i know a lot of my guys and that they use the doll meal low sugar low fat low salt whatever it is and um, personally i just use tomato passata um one i like it two it's not too thick and three like 100 grams of that is legit like 25 30 calories there's literally nothing in it at all it's crazy really if you've managed to make it this far on this video that it was time to maybe actually scratch the surface maybe a wee bit deeper and then um, can I talk about kind of a bit more personal so as some of you might be aware some of you might not I do actually still work a 9 to 5 Monday Friday as well um, I've been doing that I've been at this job now for four and a half years um, don't get me wrong, it's nearly time to kind of flourish and kind of move on. Um, I'm just kind of really picking my time out now to tell you the truth. Um, and kind of make that jump into full-time PT and online coaching. So I thought that ideally the now would be the time to kind of implement this into this video. Um, to kind of scratch the surface and kind of try and cover or go over what actually is online coaching as such because let's be honest like <laughs> you kind of you scroll through your instagram now and literally everybody's either a fitness coach or a mindset coach or a, an online coach you know so kind of online coaching everybody's got a different ways of methods of how they work i suppose but um, some being no point, no pointing fingers or anything like that. But some people care. Some people are not really that bothered. They kind of more in it because it's quick and easy money. Whereas some folk actually they're not interested in money. They're more interested in actually getting people to where they actually want to be. Um, that is basically the case with me. I've never really been money driven with anything to be honest. As long as I'm kind of happy with doing what I'm doing, to tell you the truth. So. Ideally, when it comes to online coaching with me, I think it's, it's a bit more personal, like it's not just you give somebody a shit diet plan and a crap training plan that takes you five minutes and copy and pasted. Um, everything is really, what's the word, personal, um, non-generic kind of thing, everything, everybody's got a different, do you know what I mean, every single person has got a different lifestyle. A different job, they work different shifts, they start and finish at different times. Um, they like different foods, some people like this, some people don't like that. And I think if you just as well, there's a lot of people I know, not that there's nothing wrong with it, but it just doesn't seem to yield as good results. Um, there's a lot of people just give out macro numbers, so obviously calories, proteins, carbs, and fats. And I think 
if you're doing that and not even offering um, to kind of go down the meal plan route, personally I think it's a bit laziness and because let's be honest, like if you as a client or whatever, you can literally go on Google and find out in five minutes what you really need to be eating and it's just a case of working out the maths. Um, with what you as a person do daily, obviously your expenditure and how much you actually move across the day and obviously you can pick your own foods, like it's not no much an issue but I just feel that with online coaching for me it's kind of, it's more personal, like I actually care that much about it. Oh man that was a fucking long drive home but I'm back and I've literally been in the car about two minutes. And straight in the mic for the next meal. Shit's like clockwork, man. Um, but I have five days worth of prep to now get ready and I'm back up, genuinely. But, you know, I'm going away for five days, so, um, for work. So I have no choice. Yeah, so meal five, very good in the trap. Just keeping it basic on this one, it's chicken and rice, fish and a rice cake, chicken and rice, 125 grams of chicken, 80 grams of rice and tomato sauce. I know folks are going to complain about that and say that's absolutely horrible, but I've been doing it for... Mm, six months now. I just started it one day because I fancied something different and I can't even help myself man. It's just basic innit? It tastes good. So guys that is a bit of a wrap up. Job done. Another, another day banked as such. So um. Aye, I hope you've kind of enjoyed this sort of first day in the life, to tell you the truth, I've enjoyed doing it, so I think the next episode, or the next one that I do, I will actually plan out a wee bit better, because I kind of, I didn't actually really think that I'd manage to get this done, to be quite honest, and I have, but it's just going to be a bit sort of here, there and everywhere as such, so I think... The next time I shall actually properly pre-plan it. Um, yeah, so I've actually enjoyed it. I'm getting a bit better at actually speaking in front of the camera. So but I'm just, tell you what, I'm getting better at speaking in front of the camera, but I'm not getting too good at actually looking at it. I need a good camera. Because this phone is pish. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed because... I need to sleep, I need to get up early to do the exact same thing tomorrow, but, you know, it is what it is. So, thank you for watching.